Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I've got my first experience with a stair guitar. Now I've been following Joel for quite some time and it, his builds have always kind of shook the internet community. Um, they're just absolutely lovely appointments. That, and I love every aesthetic about this instrument. And now that I've gotten to play one, whew, the sound of this thing blew me away. So this is his Grand Auditorium body. And it features a master grade Adirondack top, which I'm not entirely certain how he did this bracing because it's got a lot of bass to it. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to pick Joel's ear and see. But one of the things that might be contributing to the bass is this outrageous African blackwood. It is just so so perfect. Um, and I love what he did with the aesthetics here. It's cocoa appointments with a thin maple purfling line that kind of looks like gold. Um, but the cocoa that he chose is very red. And for some reason, the red and the black with that gold just looks so phenomenal together. Now, uh, it does have an arm bevel here with what he chose to do is kind of a radial arm kind of cap here with the cocoa. And it's got a whole lot of figuring through it and tapered it in all the way up to the neck. And it's also got a lovely kind of perfect round sound port here that is bound in cocoa and that maple as well. So he kept that theme the same all the way through. Um, and it's got a lovely African blackwood bridge here. Um, and it's two and a quarter here at the saddle. But up here at the nut, it's actually 1.79. So it's just a hair over uh, 25, 30 seconds, if you will. Now, the neck is an ebony fretboard that is bound with that cocobolo and maple theme. But it's got this outrageous kind of leaf uh, appointments all the way throughout the headstock, the neck, and into the rosette here. And the leaves just look so realistic. Uh, he, he used some, what looks like maple, and some of it's even some potentially spalted maple to give it a little bit of texture. And the stems look like they're mahogany, but the way that he grain oriented them it, it just looks so realistic. Uh, he's just really such a great artist all around. And um, I love this kind of broken rosette theme here and the way that he ties in this leaf. So especially the way that this this maple looks very similar to the Addy, but not quite the same. It's got a little more of a, a gold hue throughout it, but you could almost overlook it and then do you see it <laughs> and you can't unsee it i i love what he's done here and really i bet if you were to remove that fretboard this line that he did he continued all the way through it and then back through this broken rosette area um now it is a five-piece neck with mahogany maple and a center of cocoa that is just so lovely it's good and stiff um and i noticed that between open tunings it didn't change very much at all the action stayed exactly the same so there might be some reinforcement underneath of here as well maybe some carbon rods or maybe even a, a u channel who knows either way it's got great stability for kind of changing around through tunings now, uh, the head cap and back cap are actually some lovely um, ebony with a lot of kind of speckling and a little bit of figuring through it. And it's bound with that cocoa and maple theme as well. And you got some uh, go-to 510s with ebony buttons just to kind of 
seal the deal and keep it good in tune. Now, enough about this lovely artistic work. This thing has just got such a lovely voice to it, especially when it's in tune. Sorry about that. Good Lord, these harmonics continue to go. Uh, I think that's really a combination of the density of the African blackwood and its immediacy, but also this Adirondack is really tight grain and punchy. So um, you can get a whole lot of volume out of it, or you can, you can kind of play it sensitively and it still has a lot of sustain even up the neck, which is kind of unique for an instrument. So, now if you've got any other further questions about this lovely Grand Auditorium by Joel Sturr, or Stair, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, Joel. Uh, <laughs> I guess one of them is right. But if you've got any other further questions, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.